What's up guys? Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. Today we're talking the Tacticam SK Reveal. My just under half year review, having this bad boy out in the woods. So let's just get right into it. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so you guys know we did give one of these away. Uh, he's been he's going to be putting it out for deer season. He'll probably get it out sometime shortly and he's going to give us his feedback as well. Uh, my personal, this will be my personal views of this camera. It's been a field since I got it. I went and set it up. It's been on the food plot. Then we moved it to help pinpoint that turkey that moose shot. Uh, this is how I always mount my cameras. I love these Slate River Easy Aims. I'll take it off for this, but uh, that's how I mount my cameras so I can get them up and hide them. Now, the way I ran this camera is this is detachable and you can put it up and above and move it. But I set the camera up in optimal conditions for a solar panel, which right off the bat, this camera is huge. I mean, it is absolutely bulky. It's a giant camera. Uh, these antennas really draw a lot of attention. Um, they're cool looking, that's awesome. But deer picked this out really fast. I mean, instantly. I put this camera up in a downpour as I'm try to do when I move cameras or put some up or add cameras and they still picked it out I mean this thing sticks out like a sore thumb to them secondly this camera died on me three times uh, I got this camera it was out during you know gun season it was cold and this solar panel had no snow on it but it, this camera died on me three times now with that said all three times it took about a half a day to a day and it would get up to 20 percent and then it sat at 60 percent like all the time even on days where it didn't take any pictures in the morning or in the evening so it was just charging supposedly charging all day it sat right at 60 percent now my other cameras with respect to this my other cameras my tax cams were they seem to have better battery life in the cold than this did which makes no sense I could understand if this was covered with snow but it wasn't I had it where I could keep an eye on it when I walked in walked out I could make sure it was getting a fair trial and I just don't know if this solar panel is really all that great I, I don't know the power output of it I don't know what it can do but it's just not that impressive in my opinion. I'll post the quality of pictures and all that at the end of the video. I'll just put them through. I actually just got this. I haven't even took the SD card out. I just turned it off and uh, got a hold of it. And right now I can check it to see where the battery was at. I mean, it's June. It was out for the whole turkey season. This camera also did help us pinpoint um, yeah, so still, still at 60%. <laughs> it just, it, that's where it stays. I mean, 60% is where it stays. And it's very weird to me. It never goes up, never goes down. It just stays there. So I, <laughs> it's just odd. I'm going to go in, put the SD card in the laptop. I'll, I'll post pictures of night pictures, which this thing is okay at night photos. It's not great. And... It tends to fog up a lot on the lens in the morning, so you miss a lot for turkeys. Um, looking back, do I regret buying, well, three of them when I meant to get one? <laughs> oh, do I regret buying it? No, because I can test it. Would I buy another one? No. No, I wouldn't. I would buy the regular reveal, and I would get an aftermarket solar panel. Or something like this which you'll see in another video and I would run it that way because the other reveals can take solar panels they're slightly less bulky these double antennas do nothing um, I set this up within a hundred yards of my reveal that gets really good service where it's at same run an AT&T on both and this it, it always had medium to low signal Whereas the other one had 
a very strong signal. I moved this over to the other property and it had very strong signal so but I don't I'm not a buyer and this is actually helping. The reveal with one antenna same wireless carrier AT&T this was right next to it should have been optimal this should have had better service than the other because it was where the one was I just swapped them and it, it just didn't it I don't I don't think for the extra draw and attention I don't think it's worth it now now to be fair on this camera is this a good option for someone that's like out of state or you have a lease or you're not close to where you can hunt yes it is but I'm going to go over a better option in another video, which I'm going to be filming today, the first impression. There's better options. Is this a cheaper option? No, because it's pretty dang expensive. It's right around 200 bucks, and uh, the build quality is really cheap. I have a good feeling that this solar panel hookup majigger will break easy. It's just really thin plastic. The antennas, I had to be really careful. The one was one was getting kind of squirrely on me. And uh, I just think it's a really cheaply made camera. The clasp is cheap. I mean, it's already loose. It's just, I don't know. It, I think there's better options than this on, on uh, the market. But like I said before, what I would do, especially in that situation, luckily we're decently close to where we hunt. We do have some properties that are almost an hour drive but I would just get the reveal X or whatever one they're at now get that and then get this from Exodus this solar panel is insane I would just do that and you're gonna be the same price a little bit under buying the reveal and then this and you will never have an issue ever I promise you that with battery life that's what I would do so what I'll do now is I'll post up some pictures and all that uh, from this SD card. So it'll actually be, I could get them right from my phone, but it, it doesn't, in my opinion, that doesn't do the camera justice because the image on the SD card will be true. It'll be exactly what the camera's capable of. So that's how we go with. So I'll put this in my laptop. I'll pick a couple good ones and uh, we'll post it from there and I'll, I'll leave it go. But after... The almost almost six months of using the Tacticam Reveal SK, would I buy another? No. Am I upset I bought it? No, I'm not. Because it is a good camera. Decent camera at best. Um, it does its job, but it's not the best out there. And at the price point, I think it's really cheaply made. The build quality is poor. Uh, the battery, the solar panel, I, I don't really have too much faith in it. I mean, if it was truly charging the camera on the days it's not taking any pictures, it should have brought it back to 100, and you'd think it would do it. I get it in the winter because of cold draw, but all spring and still now, I mean, it's been in direct sunlight as you should set up with it facing south so you can get the most sun to that panel, and it still is, just sits at 60, so I don't know if it's an issue in the cord. I, I don't know, but... Would I recommend it? No. I think you could save money buying, if you want a reveal, you could buy the cheaper reveal, get and buy this SP18, solar panel 18, from Exodus. Uh, this will run you about $79. And this, with their steel cord plugged into that, you'll never have an issue, which... This will be in another video that I'm about to film right now.
Guys, I'm closing it there. If you have this camera, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think. If you love it, let me know. If you hate it, let me know. As you guys know, no opinion. This is just my opinions. No opinion is, is right every time. Everyone's got different uh, uses for cameras. Everyone has different desires, different expectations. What I think of something, it could be very well different from what you think of. But to me, there's better options. I'm about to film one. I'm, I think the best option there is. And we'll go from there. But guys, as always, smash thumbs up button for your boys. Drop a comment below. Let us know what you thought of the video. As you guys know, I would respond to every comment. And guys, I, I'm trying, but my phone is uh, extremely jacked up. So it tends to just click and text things. So if it takes me a little longer to respond, that's why I need a new phone. Badly. I mean, it's bad. <laughs> it's, I almost threw it a couple times hunting. Oh, my gumbit. Anyways, I will respond to every comment. Phone tries to stop me. Nothing will. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're getting closer to 12K. When we hit 15K, we're going to have a giveaway. When we hit 20K, we're going to have a big giveaway. So, jump on. If you're looking for no BS, performance talks, the rest walks, reviews, testing, hunts, everything outdoors, you found the right channel. We don't BS you. When we fail, you'll see it. When we succeed, you see it. You'll see it all here. Guys, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. This is the Tacticam Reveal, SK. Six months review. We'll be doing a full year review. Maybe it'll swing my heart over in summer. We will see. Stay tuned. Catch you on the next one.